So welcome to our second virtual visit here on YouTube. Today's adventure brings us to Hungry Mother State Park in Marion, Virginia. This is one of my favorite state parks because it is fairly local to me. It provides options for camping, boating, there's a beachhead, some playgrounds, and definitely some picnic shelters. Lots of cool things to do, and the best part is it's just right off of I-81, so it's not a very far drive to get out here, but you still get the experience the great outdoors from a fairly calm perspective. So today we're just going to kind of walk around and show you some of the beautiful things and let you hear some of the amazing sounds from Hungry Mother. So once you come across the bridge here, which is actually a new installation, it's, it's been a bit since I've been out here, so that was the first time for me getting to walk across it. Uh, it brings you out to this little island here, and you've got a little amphitheater, which is actually currently closed, and a few little seats out here. It's a good place to come if you want to kind of get away from everybody for just a moment. Actually, my girlfriend and I, we had a picnic around this little island a few years ago. And then over here, you'll start to see some of the cabins, which you can actually uh, rent out. There's a few, at least have some geese over there. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> Pretty horrible in the wildlife sometimes, but it's just a very beautiful, peaceful place. You can hear a lot from nature up above. Of course, you got your boat rentals right over there. You can get some kayaks, canoes, paddle boats, or you can bring your own. The only thing is you can't have motorized boats out here on this lake they all have to be propelled by you and some oars so good time to get in some some workouts but i'm going to keep walking around and exploring there are tons of trails all throughout the park that you can explore uh, a lot of great places to ride bikes as well as hiking you can also trek up molly's knob which if i'm not mistaken is right up here you can't really see it of course from the trees but there are some great views up there if you really want to see out especially in the fall when the leaves start changing and kind of in the winter and spring months before the trees come into full bloom, the views go on for miles. So definitely something to think about the next time you come. Aside from having a lot of hiking trails and biking trails, there's also a very beautiful beachhead here where you can get out into the water, soak up some sun, or just kind of play around in the sand. And the views that you're gonna see here from this beachhead are truly unbelievable. I know the ocean is a beautiful place and you can see for miles and miles, but being surrounded by these mountains and these beautiful clouds in the sky is unlike anything else. Now currently at the time of release of this video, the beachhead is closed due to the pandemic. However, be sure to check for updates for when that may open up later in the year, or if you're watching this way off in the future, maybe it's already opened back up, but definitely a place that you wanna check out. And as I mentioned before, there are a lot of camping options available at Hungry Mother. Everything from cabins to roughnecking it in a tent. You can bring up RVs and campers. And they also have these new bungalows that opened just, I think, a couple of years ago. And they're a pretty neat option as well. So what my girlfriend Megan and I decided to do was just kind of drive around the park a little bit and show you a couple of different locations throughout. Now, in some of the campgrounds, you'll find things like laundry abilities. You'll also have some basketball courts. There's a conference center. 
and then just some different outposts along the way. There's a lot of different options depending on what your needs are, your family size, etc. My girlfriend Megan and I have personally camped here in a tent and we absolutely loved it. We had a fantastic time. We like it because there's so many things available to do within the park itself. We've been to a few other parks around the area and they also are very nice, a little bit more rugged, but this park here, you feel a little bit more safe and secure while you're here, as well as having the different things to do. Now, as you're exiting the park, which we'll show you here in a little bit, there's also a little visitor center uh, that occasionally throughout the year, you know, it's a good place to stop in, check up on some stuff and things like that. And here you can see on the right hand side of the video, there is the visitor center where you can stop and take a look inside. Also, before you get to the visitor center on the right, if you head on up the road, that'll take you out towards the back of the Dragon, which will ultimately take you over into Tazewell, Virginia. One last thing I'd like to mention on today's episode is that Hungry Mother has a lot of great events that go on throughout the year. These events are great because they really showcase South Virginia's musical and art cultural heritage. You can meet artists from all over the region who create handcrafted works that make great gifts and pieces for your home. The clips you're seeing here is from a couple of years ago at the Arts and Crafts Festival at Hungry Mother. And this isn't the only festival and events that they hold throughout the year. So it's important that you keep up to date with their social media and website to see what is coming up. One of my favorite things about the Arts and Crafts Festival is that you actually get to meet the artisans who are there selling their works. And in a lot of cases, you actually get to see them creating the works as you could see here in this video from this pottery setup. It's really fascinating to be able to see how they actually create these handmade pieces. And you can really learn a lot just by asking questions or stopping by and seeing what they have to offer. I've also met some authors from the area and bought a couple of books from them and they're usually really happy and friendly as far as signing the books. One of my favorite books that I have purchased from there is called Along Virginia's Route 58. One of my favorite roads to travel across Virginia because of all the amazing things that it crosses through. But if you've never been to Hungry Mother Park, I highly recommend you giving it a chance. Whether you enjoy camping, biking, hiking, boating, the beach, or these events, or anything else, there's truly a lot to offer here at this park. And if you'd like to find out more about Hungry Mother and Marion, Virginia, be sure to visit our website at visitswva.org. I'll be doing a blog post that goes along with this particular video that showcases some more things that Marion has to offer. And we'll definitely be visiting Marion, Virginia again in the future to showcase other places like the Lincoln Theater, which is home to Song of the Mountains, a part of Virginia's The Crooked Road, Music Heritage Trail, a really great venue, a very beautiful place chocked full of history. There's also a legend around Hungry Mother's name, and I'll be including a link to that in the blog post as well in case you're curious to go and see what that's all about. But thank you all so much for tuning in today and joining me on this journey to Hungry Mother State Park. I hope that you enjoyed the journey and this gave you some inspiration to go pay the park in Marion, Virginia a little visit. But I'll see you all next week as we venture out to a new location in Southwest Virginia. If you have some suggestions of places that we should go or show, be sure to leave those in the comments section below and we'll try to make it out. But as always, have a great day, enjoy exploring Southwest Virginia, and be safe out there.